A magnificent setting, two great teams, what drama here. And Seaman, what a magnificent save. Not good. Tuffle's got him. No way! Oh dear. Welcome to They Think It's All Over with David and Rory as a comedian and West Ham fan who admits that he's terrified of spiders. In fact, he hates anything with eight legs, unless it's a KFC party bucket. <laughs> Phil Jupiter. <laughs> with Phil and Jonathan is a top Formula One driver who a couple of years ago was done for speeding on a motorway. He was delighted. After all, three points is three points. <laughs> Jensen Button. <laughs> We start the show with an excuse question. David, Rory and Phil, take a look at this. Here's troubled British sprinter Dwayne Chambers seen failing to win gold at the recent World Athletics Championships. But since then, of course, things have gone from bad to worse for Dwayne. He failed an initial drugs test and commentators, including legend Michael Johnson, accused him of carrying too much muscle weight. Now, Dwayne, of course, has strenuously denied taking any form of drug and has a perfectly good excuse for looking so bulky. So what is that excuse, David's it's, team? It's self-defence. Right. Self-defence. He's got a bulk up in case he bumps into Cheryl from Girls Aloud. Oh, no. <laughs> I can say it's great for me to have um, Phil on this side because today I am the second fattest person on this side. <laughs> and it makes you the best goalkeeper, Phil. I, I tell you, I just... <laughs> it looks like Dave has brought along Wayne Rooney's parents for a night out. <laughs> <laughs> Who's mummy? <laughs> Who's mummy? So, gentlemen, Dwayne Chambers. Um, was it? Right, OK, did he bulk up? He, he, after the death of Barry White, did he see a gap in the market? Thought. <laughs> <laughs> Is he a lot heavier than what he was before? We don't know the, the figures exactly, but, but he certainly, well, he's, he's, perceived, he's perceived as being bigger, isn't he? Mm. Mm. He's a big lad. He's, he's just been washing his kit too much, hasn't he? <laughs> <laughs> So, professional sportsmen watch their own kit, do they, David? <laughs> <laughs> Things are a bit ropey at Man City, aren't they? We have weigh-ins at Man City. I mean, do you, they, they weigh you regularly. Check we do. Shape. We get, we get weighed about once every, what, two weeks, something like that. But uh, there's some funny things go on when, uh, when we do get weighed. Oh, do tell us, David. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not mentioning any names, but one, one, one player actually went to the scales with a towel around his waist and they said, like, you know, take all of your clothes off. So he took the towel off, held it in his hand, and then stood on the scales. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you do that, David? <laughs> well, an excuse I have is that television sometimes makes you look a bit sort of fatter than you are. Because in real life, I look just like Naomi Campbell, you know. <laughs> it's something to do with, 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 as Rory says, with the TV. It made him look too... Is it too big or too fat or something? I'll give you three points yeah. for that. Yeah, well done. <laughs> Dwayne put the blame for his larger appearance on TV. He said, it's television, it makes me look huge. Dwayne Chambers does have a point, though. It's being on television that makes me look fat. I spend all the money I get for this show on pies. <laughs> <laughs> Phil, Jonathan and Jensen, it's a footballing excuse for you. Watch this. Here's Crisis Club, Leeds United back in sunnier times, scoring goals for fun and threatening to win things. Two short years after they nearly reached the Champions League final, Leeds are bottom of the Premiership and £80 million in debt. When the current chairman took over this year, he discovered his predecessor had been lashing out on such crazy purchases as private jet flights, Darren Huckabee and designer Goldfish. So what was the club's excuse for spending £20 a month on fish? Phil's team. Well, was it... Was it so the players had someone to talk to on the same level? <laughs> Are you sneering at uh, footballers? No, not at all, not at all. Let's face it, your job's not. I just have to set the wheel like that and sit tight, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> when you, when you 
pass your driving test, they have the flag in front of the car. <laughs> I pass my driving... <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Have you not <laughs> I have passed. I passed on the third try. I'm not ashamed of that. I bet you didn't pass first time either, did you? No, I didn't. Ah, did you when know? did you pass? No. How many? Dangerous driving. There's a surprise. You could have done for dangerous driving in your yeah. test. Went for a gap that wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> done that a few times. <laughs> we may have strayed a little <laughs> on hey, the question. Like there. There. There were Leeds United and Fish. Well, we've all splashed out a few trouts before, yeah. haven't we? <laughs> <laughs> Leeds United bought a fish. Why the big surprise over that? Man City bought a horse earlier this year. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 you'll be laughing the other side of your face, Ross, when he launches his Christmas toy this year, My Little Ponytail. Yeah. Is <laughs> <laughs> it light in the room or something? I don't know. To the light make everyone a bit more positive. Th that sort of thing, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just broaden it out a little bit. Flatfish. Place. Not really. I'm not really into football. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. No. <laughs> You've misunderstood <laughs> the phrase, broaden it out a bit. <laughs> what, what I meant was broaden the answer out, <laughs> not the type of uh, fish. What type of fish? Give us a clue. Jensen's... He's it's the closest. Give you're nearly there. What sort of fish? Oh, what sort of fish? Why, why would you do that? What sort of harmonious. person would... Yeah, harmonious. What sort of person gets involved in that? Feng Shui. Feng Shui. Feng Shui. Feng Shui. Feng Shui is the correct answer. Feng Shui answer. fish. Three points. Well done. You've got it together. Well done, Former chairman Peter Risdale's excuse for squandering so much money on goldfish was that fish are lucky. So, on the advice of a feng shui expert, he spent a small fortune on 11 fancy fish in the Leeds colours of white, yellow and blue. Leeds have now got rid of the fish. One was sold to Liverpool for a tenth of what they paid for it. <laughs> One's gone to Middlesbrough, but Leeds are still coughing up for the fish food. And two were the subject of a police investigation after beating up a tropical fish outside a nightclub. <laughs> And at the end of that round, Phil's team have three points and David's team have three points. <laughs> and that round has won the win. OK. Round two is photo fit, where a trio of sporting characters have been merged into one. David's team, here's your one. <laughs> Delighted Peter Beardsley after a successful facelift. <laughs> Martin Keown's better looking brother. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. I'm going to tell him. But if you watch him, I don't give a shit. <laughs> By the way, Phil, I'd just like to congratulate you on your, uh, your TV award the other night. Thank you very much. Well done, oh. mate. What was it that you got it for? Uh, I've no idea. <laughs> Hey, the hair there, that's not by any chance Tim Henman, who so gloriously yes. won at the weekend. What a fabulously exciting tennis well, match. The boy's on top. If I were you, I'd put 50 quid down for Wimbledon right now in his favour. Although, did you see the French, did you see the, uh, the trophy they gave him? Mm. It wasn't a proper trophy. No. They obviously thought he's never won one before, you won't know the difference. <laughs> <laughs> we think the, the, um, the bottom bit is a cleverly... They obviously airbrushed a Danish pastry and a hamburger out of it. It's, <laughs> Colin Montgomery's mouth, isn't it? No, I'll give you Colin Montgomery, yeah, it's Colin Montgomery. That the hair, hair belongs to that, I mean, it's quite a sort of um, butch haircut. I think it's that's around the world yacht Colin. woman, whose name? Na name I can't remember. <laughs> Ellen, Ellen... <laughs> MacArthur. <laughs> Ellen MacArthur, yeah. And the middle one's obviously a crap boxer. <laughs> Is that the, the winning contestant on ITV's Boxing Idol? <laughs> <laughs> I think oh, it's that famous the, um... Ukrainian uh, boxer that no one knows the name of, that mm. Lennox Lewis beat. Well, recently. you'll need to know his name to get the points. You have no idea who the Ukrainian is. Any ideas over no. here the name of the boxer? Yes, I have a bad eye. <laughs> 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 Let's split it up and see who we've got. You've got two points there. That Let was the close cropped hair of Ooh. tough as nails yachtswoman Ooh. Ellen MacArthur, the punch drunk eyes of Ukrainian heavyweight Vitaly Klitschko, yeah. and the happy go lucky mouth, as you correctly identified, of fun loving golfer Colin Montgomery. <laughs> Colin Montgomery is an MBE, and he'll never forget the Queen's kind words as she handed him his award. Well, we don't normally, but I'm sure we can rustle something up for you. <laughs> As a schoolgirl, Ellen MacArthur saved up her dinner money for three years to buy her first dinghy. Phil Jupitus did the same for a week and bought HMS Belfast. <laughs> Phil's team, here's one for you. Whoa. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't know who he is, but I imagine the police are very anxious to look on his hard drive. Look at him. <laughs> 
Whoever it could be, it's, uh, it'll be saying, Tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be David Seaman. <laughs> David, do you ever wear the hair loose like that? Is it just for your lady at home? We've never seen hey, it out actually, of its yeah, rubber band. Give us a little shake out. I've, I've never <laughs> seen it. <laughs> <laughs> the eyes have the look of a wizard about them to me. Is it Dumbledore? <laughs> Could be Bernie, couldn't it? You reckon the wrinkled Best eyes of George, George Best, 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 Best. That's a boozer. And the hair, it could be Janola. Did Janola have a middle party? It's a bit dark, isn't it? No, it's not Janola, is it? No. He's got, he's got it might be a bird. Hair. It might be a woman. Could it be a lady? Bit that was, that exactly. was still being politically correct. <laughs> <laughs> it might be a bird, it might be a woman. <laughs> Any ideas over here? We think it's Robert Perez. You think it's Robert Perez? I was just going to say okay. Perez. Well, well you're not right either. Let's ah. split oh. it up. You've got two points on this side. We oh, saw yeah. the yeah. lustrous locks of Wimbledon He's champion good. Roger Federer. I said so. The That's beady true. eyes of Formula One's Mr Moneybags, That's Bernie Eccleston, and the ever-thirsty mouth of footballing philanderer <laughs> George Best. George Best recently sold his European Footballer of the Year award for £167,000. The then Leeds chairman, Peter Ridsdale, said, it's a fantastic buy for the club and it'll look great in the fish tank. <laughs> <laughs> Roger Federer was the man who ended Pete Sampras's Wimbledon career. Sampras took the defeat badly. He kidnapped a blonde and climbed the Empire State Building, swatting biplanes as he went. <laughs> Gas fitter turned Formula One supremo Bernie Eccleston has earned as much as £54 million in a year. But despite that, he gave up the gas fitting and moved into motor racing. <laughs> and at the end of that round, David's team have five points and Phil's team <coughs> have five points. Three is the treble where the teams link sports personalities with objects. David's team, your subject for the treble is sporting bad boys. And your three are... Florida-based Korean baseball player Ryu Jae-kok. The perennial king of Formula One, Michael Schumacher. And German Grand Prix pole vaulting champion Tim Lobinger. But which one caused a stir by chucking a fridge out of a window? Who's in trouble for bearing his backside? And who's been reprimanded for killing an osprey? David's team. Mm. Does that bottom row there look like the prizes in the gay generation game? <laughs> <laughs> Is that Schumacher there? Yeah. That, yeah. I, don't, I don't like the look of him. Look at his face, he's full of himself. Look at him. He's sneering at you, Jensen. He is, he? He's I sneering. think he's looking at you, He's actually. going, hello, Jensen, you think you're so fast? <laughs> Not so fast as me now, you look at this. The faster you think of this speed, ha ha. <laughs> yeah, I let you come up and she said, no, I pull in front. I just think this. Oh, look, it's in number one place. I put my chows there already. Tough luck. Come on. Sorry. I don't think it's even your question. I'm not. <laughs> the Osprey. The little Korean fella was making Osprey McNuggets for the rest of the team. <laughs> <laughs> you know the Koreans, yeah, they Korean. love their weird they food. Actually, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Korean baseball actually said real hot dogs at half-time, do they? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's have the answer. Right, right the Osprey, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Mr Cock, um, yeah. uh, they were at training in Florida. I, I know this story. And uh, in Florida, the, the Osprey's a common bird down there, and they, they nest in the... and he was just trying to knock one out. And, and he, yeah, he, he was hoying baseballs yep. at the Osprey and he, and he killed an Osprey. Right. And he okay. earned the ire of the local community. The pole vaulter, uh, presumably, pole vaulted his pole into that bloke's arse, <laughs> went over him <laughs> and landed in a fridge. Wait, that's Schumacher's arse? No, 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 you've misunderstood. <laughs> but Jensen would know, he'd seen it from behind quite a few times. Do <laughs> <laughs> they, they drive naked? Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> But you know what? If Wayne... <laughs> he's, a a new, he's a new character from Wacky Racing. <laughs> the only guy that looks like he'd show his backside to anybody is the pole vaulter. Right, so you're going for... The fridge for Schumacher. 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 And you get three points out of three. Well done. They don't have to say why. They don't have to say why. Yeah. 
<laughs> in fact, uh, Korean baseball pitcher Ryu J. Kok faced a 19-day jail sentence after he threw a ball at a protected osprey called Aussie and killed it. Michael Schumacher threw a fridge through a window in Japan after winning his sixth Formula One crown. And German pole vaulter Tim Lobinger was fined $5,000 for bearing his arse in a protest against rule changes. The last time a British sportsman showed off his arse in public was when David Beckham introduced Victoria to his Real Madrid teammates. <laughs> Most baseball jargon is unfamiliar over here, so just to explain, a bunt is a defensive push, a strike is a legal pitch that a batter fails to hit, and bottom of the third is where Leeds United will be in three seasons' time. <laughs> Phil's team, your subject for the treble is sporting ambitions, and your three are... Chunky West Country Willow Wafter Marcus Truscothic. Wales' fastest quarter-miler, Ewan Thomas. And scruffy Chelsea-based Argentine, Hernan Crespo. But Phil's team, whose ambition is to cross Africa in a balloon? Who wants to become an F1 driver? And who dreams of becoming a rag and bone man? Lovely picture of Phil at the bottom there, though, isn't it? Look, you're looking good there. <laughs> <laughs> Rag and bone man. Rag yep. and bone man. I've always quite fancied the idea of being a rag and bone man because I like having a nose. If you have a nose through people's rubbish, think how much you can learn. Look into our rubbish, for example. Just look through my bin, you'd see, you'd notice me immediately. There'd be a couple of bags from top London's clothes shops. There'd be some fine food, maybe from the very best cuisine places. Maybe a few, uh, maybe a couple of specialist magazines. <laughs> you look in Jensen's, you'd see what you'd expect in the youngsters. Lots of empty bottles of Sunny Delight and a couple of Happy Meal cartons. <laughs> you have a look in Phil's bin? <coughs> You'd probably find Phil, wouldn't you? She has to laugh. <laughs> racing driver. Right. All right. Formula Been One. You would know the sort of person who wanted to be a Formula One racer. Yeah. Maybe well, it's got a bit of fit looking one, isn't it? You think so? Are you going to your horn on your I car? Only, yeah. Only yeah. It's you <laughs> oh, that'd be great, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> All the British drivers. That is that noise behind me. <laughs> <laughs> It's the English boy again playing no trick. <laughs> I will hit the button with the tax and the oil. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that bloke over there again? That's Marcus Trusk Gothic. Never heard of him. What's he doing? Uh, uh, opens a baton for England. All right. Is he any good? Eats a lot of sausages. Do you miss playing cricket? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> <laughs> He's such a great chat show guest. <laughs> Do you miss playing cricket? Oh. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what do we think, fellas? Ewan's got to be the F1. Ewan you is the F1, yeah. Said. You know that, don't you? Let's make him the rag and bone man. He's got... Yeah, he's... Because he looks like he would be, he, you know... Oh, he's... The bloke with the quiffy hair, the... Hernan Crespo. Yes. Three points out. Yeah! Oh. 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 Yes. Yeah. In fact, Marcus Truscothic's ambition is to go ballooning across Africa. Ewan Thomas hopes to become a Grand Prix racing driver when his running days are over. And Hernan Crespo confessed he always wanted to be a rag and bone man. <laughs> Hernan Crespo says the thing he hates most is people who refuse to give up their bus seats to the elderly, saying such a person is despicable and miserable. Well, he's missed out comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> You and Thomas is currently preparing for the Athens Olympics, which have been dogged by construction delays. It's got so bad that the Olympic Committee has announced that the modern pentathlon will now include bricklaying, hod carrying, and waiting for a skip. <laughs> and at the end of that round, David's team have eight points, and Phil's team have eight points. Go on. <laughs> It's time for the regulars to fondle the famous as we play Phil the Sportsman. David and Rory, it's your turn first. If you'd like to make your way to the front and take up your positions, you will have a suitable amount of time to identify who's dared to come between you. <laughs> Blindfolds on. And can we have our first mystery guest, please? Okay, and your time starts now. Where is it? Oh, what's that? <laughs> what's this? Did you order a chicken in the basket? <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, Frank Bruno made it while he was inside. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What's that? There's a man or something in here. 
Is it Richard Branson? That's <laughs> <laughs> when you get your trains running on time, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get in this? <laughs> oh, oh, fantastic! <laughs> oh, take me away. You got this it. could be it. This could be it. <laughs> I'm putting it in fantastic. there. No chance. That boy oh, just got okay, Rory, lesson. before you go any further, it isn't the nimble girl. <laughs> What is it, around the world in 80 stone now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's worth oh. getting in just for that, wasn't it? This is the famous transatlantic um, um, hot air balloonist bloke, isn't it? It is. Who is it? <laughs> Where are you, Nick? Are we turning around? Down actually... here! He's <laughs> <laughs> completely <laughs> lost now. <laughs> hell, hell! Nick, you are! He's done better than where you are. <laughs> What's his Jesus. name then? <laughs> oh, it's double barreled, one of those posh names. Yes. Um, you tell them, you tell them, that's it. That's, that's, that's close good. enough, David Hempelman <laughs> Adams. Well you done, David Hempelman Adams. Adams. Transatlantic adventurer and balloonist. We're in the lead still, aren't we? Well, not yeah. if we can get that out, we're in the lead. Uh, be there or thereabouts. I think we will. We? Blindfolds you know on. What? The good thing is, normally, if um, if they've had a big flashy one like that, we'll just get some sort of slim, wasted, long-haired young woman. Okay. Uh, yeah. Can we have our second mystery guest, please? <laughs> <laughs> And your time <laughs> starts now. Oh! Is it Dwayne Chambers coming up for Dusty's oh. Innocence? <laughs> going? I can't see I a can't thing. feel anything. There's I nothing can't here. See nothing. Oh, oh, what's that noise I... over there? There's someone clicking over there. I've just walked into something. I've got a wheel. I've got a wheel. Just go gently, lads. Is it, Dave Sim is it, is it, is it, is it David Seaman Zimmer frame? <laughs> I'll I tell you what, it's making some funny noises. What's this? What is this going on? What's oh. going on here? Hold on! Oh. What's this? Hold on. They're holding Rossi. hands! Rossi! <laughs> Come on, quick. We're in this together. Oh, oh, <laughs> what is that? You go over there. I'll, I'll watch your bat. Oh. What is that? Am I doing all right here? One of those fast bowlers you dream about still. Oh! What is this? <laughs> We've got, a chart. We've got a cart here. Is it Jensen's new motor for next year? <laughs> that must be... It's Nick's cab to take him home. It's the best Stoke has to offer, isn't that right, Nick? <laughs> what is this? Is this a...? <laughs> <laughs> I just thought... It's a cyborg. It's like Mel and then Man. Oh! It was, in fact, Liz Rowe, the current national pony driving oh champion. <laughs> So brave. It was like watching Scooby and Shaggy. <laughs> and so at the end of that round, Phil's team have eight, but David's team have eleven. How are we <laughs> we finish the show with the name game. The team in the lead goes first, which is David's team. Pass those along to Rory, please. Yeah. You have an opposite amount of time no, to get as many names as you can. An and your time, time. starts um, now. Um, he falls over, he plays at Liverpool. Falls over? Yeah. Um, He's a footballer. Oh, He's uh, Leicester. No, you can falls uh, Esky. Esky. Uh, Esky. Uh, a former England rugby captain hasn't slept with Princess Dan as far as I know. Will Carling. Will Carling. No? No, hasn't. Oh, Has shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's got an Italian sounding name. He oh, well, Lawrence got... Delalio. Yeah. Almost the same name, and he's Sven's girlfriend, and he's not knocking off that Oh, Swedish Nancy Delolio. Yeah, that's very good indeed. Yeah. Football legend, Saint and... Greasy. Yeah, Jimmy full, full name. Yeah, uh, this is a, this is a badminton player. Second name is. Um, I don't know any badminton players. Cereal, the Ramones, no, Weetabix, no. Cornflakes, no, who make, Sugar who Puffs, Cornflakes, Alpen, Kellogg's. 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 Yeah, and it's a kebab. An elephant. Donna, Donna, Donna Kellogg, Weetabix, football. <laughs> 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 right, so they moved on to seventeen. So ten. We'll win it for ten, you. Ten. Ten. Your time starts now. A swimmer. We had him on the show a couple of weeks ago. He had big breasts. Boom, 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 James. boom. 
James, James second sounds like a monkey, that's yeah. right. Okay. Uh, Scottish most racing driver with a great fat head. The Coulthard. Size of David, David, David yeah, Coulthard. Uh, all right, second name of this Australian rugby player is what uh, homosexuals would often say when the fleet was in. Hello. It's Jonathan. Sailor. Hello, <laughs> Sailor. Well, well, Sailor, well done. All right. This is a tennis player. Sounds like she's trying to take over from Kornikova. First name is the same. Co As Kornikova. Kornikova. What's Kornikova's same first, first name? name? Anna. Anna. Anna, okay. Second name is, uh, second part of the name is, you know when a sun explodes, it goes super... Nova. Nova, yeah, first name is if I... Mario Brothers have got a thing called Mario. Super Something Brothers. Super Yoshi. No, no, Yoshi if I... Nova. Uh, instead Nova. of Crash, it's a sound like Crash, but you go... Wallop. Bang, wallop, bang, No, bang, no, bang. sounds like Crash. Kapow. No, no, no. Uh, it used to be in potato, you added water. Potato. Mash. Smash. Smash. There you go, all right. Yeah. Yeah. Smash Nova. Smash oh, Nova. God almighty. No. <laughs> what do you expect? OK, if, if, OK, second name. It's a rugby player. Second name. If a vampire attacked you, a young lady, and you wouldn't know who had done it, you'd say... Oh. You'd ask the question, someone who's, who's did that... Who's your neck? Who? Who's... Who, who's who's fanged her? Who, who fanged her? Exactly. Fanged her? And, uh, <laughs> he, he got that, and his first name is uh, Sukunavola. Uh, OK, this is... Uh, <laughs> all right, a, a boxer. First, uh, second name... First name is, like, a, a clock goes tick... and Top. it goes. Top. But if it went ticker, it would go... Tocker. That's right, and the second name... <laughs> Is what you call Jeff steak and kidney pie. No, I don't like pie, but I do like crust. No, I do like steak and kidney pie. gravy. No, not pie. It's another one. It's soft and round. You boil it. In. Put it in. <laughs> oh, we were so close. Good work. I don't think we got. We only got that far. The pie. Uh, I think you know in your heart of hearts that David Steam is this week's winner, but. Yes. Yeah. Over the series, that makes it four all. It is a tie, and that means tie break time. So bring on the game. Show. We mentioned Leeds United's 11 account busting goldfish. Well, here they are. Uh, Phil and David, if you'd like to go up and sit on the, st the stools, our skippers, <laughs> and pick up your rod. Um, uh, good luck, don't as many fish no. as you can get in one minute. Okay. Phil, we have. And don't forget, this is for the series. It, this is for your teammates. This <laughs> is what you've been working towards. You haven't got to cast it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Are we tattoo. ready? As many as you can in a minute. Time starts now. Go on, Phil. Come on! Come on. Oh, cheating, Seaman. That's it. Go on, Phil. Go on, Go on, Tuff. Come on, Tuff. Keep it going. Master the fish. Be the fish. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Come on! That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's Phil, that's, that's the last time you use your hand. Phil, don't listen Come on. To Come on, Dave. Yes! Yes! Come on. Safety sounds in England. Oh, Come on. Watch out, Dave. Arsenal will catch you. Fish supper! No, no, no. Yes, Phil. Yes, Phil. I'll give you that. I'll let you have that. I'll come let you on, have that. Dave, there's, come on. Come on, Dave. Dave, there's a bloke behind you with scissors who's going to chop your ponytail off. <laughs> <laughs> He's coming. It's the oh, child oh, catcher. Oh, <laughs> Phil, come one on, more David. for him. Come on. Come, come on, on, Phil. Yes. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 Go on, Tuff oh, Come on. Tuff Well done. Well done. OK, well done. It looks like, it looks like a little list hobo. He's so happy. It's huckle briefing. Yeah. <laughs> so, thanks to David, Rory and Phil, Phil, Jonathan and Jensen. My name's Nick Hancock. They think it's all over. It is now. Yeah.